We are recording. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Tuesday, August the 13th, 2024. We will be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Exodus the seventh chapter. We have our timer set, seven minutes, and it is going. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. And thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders, in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, but I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so did they. And Moses was fourscore years old, and Aaron fourscore and three years old, when they spake unto Pharaoh. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Pharaoh, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Shew a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and cast it before the Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so, as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rod. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. The Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth out unto the water, and thou shalt stand by the river's brink against he, will, against he come. And the rod which was turned to a serpent shalt thou take in thine hand. And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. Thus saith the Lord, In this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters, which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Egyptians shall loaf to drink of the water of the river. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, stretch out, stretch out thine hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in the vessels of wood and in the vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so, as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and he smote, smote the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of the servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died. And the river stank. And the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river. And there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them, as the Lord had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house. Neither did he set his heart to this also. And all the Egyptians digged round about the river for water to drink. For they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled after that the Lord had smitten the river. Chapter 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, 
let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all the borders with frogs. And the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thine house and into thy bedchamber and upon thy bed and into the house of thy servants and upon thy people and into thine ovens and into thy knitting troughs. And the frogs shall come up both on thee and upon thy people and upon all thy servants. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch forth thine hand with thy rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up upon the land of Egypt. And Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. And then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go, that they may do sacrifice unto the Lord. And Moses said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for thee and for thy servants and for thy people to destroy the frogs from thee and thy houses, that they may remain in the river only? And he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to thy word, that thou mayest know that there is none like unto the Lord our God. And the frogs shall depart from thee and from thy houses and from thy servants, from thy people. They shall remain in the river only. And Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh. And Moses cried unto the Lord because of the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the villages, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together upon heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened his heart, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod. And smite the dust of the land that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so. For Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and he smote the dust of the earth. And it became lice in man and in beast. All the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. <coughs> through all the land of Egypt. Ooh, we're going to stop right there. Them lice, I can just feel them. Can't you feel the lice? Lord Jesus. Praise God. So we're going to stop right there, right there, right there. Let me get my pen. Uh, we will resume tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. 8, 14, 24. We'll be resuming on Exodus, the 8th chapter, the 18th verse. Exodus, the 8th chapter, the 18th verse. So we read through the 17th verse. Praise God. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader of that precious and sacred word of God. If you enjoy these noonday reads, if you enjoy your lunch break with Mama Pam reading the word of God, well, you can be a blessing to me. It behooves you to be a blessing you don't go and eat a meal somewhere and leave without paying. You do not go and eat a meal and get up, burp, wipe your hand, go use their bathroom, whatever the case may be, without leaving an offering for the meal that was served. So that's all we're asking you to do here. If you are not so inclined, then you can do the 7 .com. There you'll find beautiful pieces of jewelry like you see me having on. 7minutebling.com Beautiful, beautiful. Again, this is one of my three-year-old. This is three-year-old. This is new. These are one of the new. Five dollars. Five dollars. You go and pick what you want. All right? If you want to be, always know what we're doing and be in the know, we come on today. I came on two hours early. I was on at 12 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. I was on at 12 o'clock. This is where you will come to be in the know. You ain't got to pay no extra nothing. Praise God. Until the next broadcast, you can find the commentary reads on the long. When you go to YouTube, you'll see the two hours, one and a half, three hours. That's the whole thing. God bless.
See you next time.